Dorcus Titanus, uh, six weeks ago I found my first uh, eggs that I have put into these little plastic containers, 80 milliliters. Uh, we will see whether these eggs have hatched in these boxes. Uh, and three L2 larvae I have put in two kimchi bottles, small ones and one 500 milliliter uh, kimchi box, a little bit the bigger one. That's what we want to check today, whether we should uh, move them to bigger containers now and afterwards I'm going to check the box for other uh, larvae or other eggs that I have left here in this 22 liter box. Since the first uh, egg check six weeks ago, 5th of September, today is the 19th of October, so I removed them. 3L2 and 4X, that's what you see here. So let's see what we can find here. First I want to check the X here, because this is uh, pretty difficult. If you have to remove X, that's always a problem, because you take them out of their natural surrounding. Humidity changes, probably material substrate around it change slightly, that's always a danger for the eggs and you can be happy if they can emerge as healthy little larvae, so they should have emerged now. So that's very nice to see. This one is very healthy here. You see the, I try to put it under the lens so you can see, see it a little bit better. Um, what we have here is one Larva of Dorcus titanus polavonicus in the midst of this uh, of this substrate and looks healthy uh, already L2 so I will prepare for this larva a bigger container and I take something like this this is a, a Swiss kimchi bottle with a compact it's sterile kimchi you can also see that the mushroom starts growing out of this uh, bottle already so it's a sign that it's a healthy substrate and um, if you want you can just remove the top um, material of the bottle so you, you don't have to cut the bottle in two and you just remove the upper part of the material from this bottle and then you just can put in the larva and wait until you see from outside that it's so big that you should change the substrate one more time. So, but in kind of this bottle, a uh, larva, like this small one, they can be kept here. If it's a female, she can also um, pupate in this kind of uh, bottle. If it's a male, it's a bigger um, kimchi material box or bottle or later on. So, if you want, you can make a little hole here just for air exchange and then you can take the larva from here I try to do that with a little spoon so it's easier to put it in and I don't have to touch it now that's it. I just put it here on the top of the bottle you can cover it with a little material of the original substrate where it left in very nice. So I think this is a, a good place for this nice larva of Dorcus titanus from the Philippine island of Palawan. It's the biggest subspecies of Dorcus titanus in the world. So let's see what we can do. Next box here. This was also an egg. If you want you can go back in the playlist and see how I put them into these boxes. What we can see here, there's a worm on top of the substrate and it's not very nice if we see that, but we can hope that it's only one, so probably they won't, don't, they won't harm the larva in here. Look, and she sits here on top, also a nice L2 larva. Well, let's see whether we can present this to you too under this special lens. Well, where she is, she's down here. And also for this larva I will 
present uh, prepare a bigger bottle like this one and also here you can see that's the mushroom Pleurotus pulmonarius trying to grow out of the bottle in this bottle the material is already since more than a year the, the mushroom is growing through that uh, substrate and it ripens uh, more and more if you make it like this and of course sometimes especially when temperatures change you can see that mushroom fruit bodies appear on top of this uh, uh, on top of this bottle and you can also eat them if you like that's no problem because pulmonarius is an edible mushroom and very well known around the world for the good taste so we do the same I'm, I made a little hole in here so I take the larva I just put it in there and she will dig down very fast and go into the substrate and we only have to put back the top of the bottle with a little tape around oh look I forgot something there's another larva in here I didn't see it so it, I must have put two eggs into this bottle you see one of the, this is smaller, this is an L1 of Titanos, look here a smaller one, so I really forgot this one so I have to see whether I forgot also one in the other box but no I didn't, ok so that's a nice surprise, I forgot one larva, I have more, one more of the Dorcus Titanos so also for this one, this is a smaller one, it's an L1 I will uh, prepare for this smaller larva also a smaller bottle I can see from outside and later whether I want to change it to a bigger bottle or I can leave it for some more time in this bottle normally if they change the color after they have been eaten up by the larva you see very clearly when it's time to change the substrate because now as soon as long as the material inside of this kimchi bottle is white it means that the mushroom is still living and is uh, eating kind of the of the wooden material from this uh, kimchi and that's always a good sign if it's still living that's the natural environment of the larva because they live in trees where the mushrooms also still live they are not died in the mushroom so that's good for it so it's the same procedure, we take the larva, put it into the bottle. You can, if it has no warmth in it, you can put a little bit more of the original substrate. Yeah, okay, we do that like this. And also, cover it with a lid with a hole, little hole in it. And we go on, there's two more boxes, here is one. Let's see whether we are so lucky that all of these eggs have hatched in that time. Here it doesn't seem that the egg is still here, so this is probably not living anymore. So I can show you the egg, but I think we leave it in here there. It's this brownish spot here, so I'm not sure what we should do with it, I just put it back and put a little bit more um, of the material to it and also some water, where do I have this here? Spray it a little bit, a little bit more water and we can wait another two weeks, months and then we are sure whether it has hatched or not this is also a box from outside, I don't see any of oh, yes, but it must be something in here because there's a hole up here in the substrate and also there are some fresh pellets that I have seen so let's see, Yo, yeah, here it is, it's an L2 also in the middle of the substrate a nice L2 of Torcus Titanus from Palavanto, also for this one I will prepare a bigger bottle because if it's an L2 they will grow very fast because you know that the larvae of uh, Dorcus Titanus from Polawan they can be up to 50 grams 
and they are faster. They don't take more than one year to grow from zero practically to 50 grams. So they need a lot of material to eat and that's exactly what I'm giving to them now. I'm making a hole here, also if you want you can compress it a little bit down to the substrate. I'm taking the larva here, put it in there. So I cover it with a little bit of the original material without worms of course. And then I make a little slit here so that's uh, okay, I can put the top of the bottle on. Of course I have to fix it with tape then afterwards, but that's the bottle for the next I would say two months where I can keep the larva. So and this one is the one that I have to wait. And now let's see what happened to the other one. So a one I had here, this was an L2. 5th of uh, September, the substrate looks quite nice and eaten up and so let's see what happened here in 6 weeks, what happened here whoa, you see what happened here in only 6 weeks that's incredible, look at this fat big floral, it's really incredible how fast they grow in a kind of substrate like this I mean this wasn't a monster before, six weeks before. Of course it was already a big one, but a monster it was definitely not. And now we will see how fast it has grown in this substrate. Of course this is a male, because the males they get really huge. This is already 24 grams. So, of course for this kind of, of a monster titanus, I have to prepare also a much bigger container. So that uh, this larva it happens and can grow even bigger. So the first thing I do, I choose a 5 liter box. I prepare it with the old material here. Also I can put some of the kimchi material from the bottles in there. I prepare two big pieces of white rotten wood here, or one, it's at least one. And what I also do, I put some of this kimchi material around the box. This is the same mushroom, it's Pleurotus pulmonarius, the same mushroom that is inside of this uh, wood block and the material that is in this kind of a sawdust material. So I will compress it, I compress it hard, very hard here so, oh this box is not good, it has a, so we have to take another one. This is broken up and they have very very strong mandibles so if the box is not completely okay they will come out and and run all over your over the floor of your cellar or wherever you keep them so and of course you need around five liters of kimchi material for one larva but then they can get really huge in this kind of a material and we will see how huge they can get so that's the job is practically the one bag of kimchi for one of these of these boxes but it's worth it because if you have those with titanos then you want the big uh, Back people. If you don't have the material to feed it right, so go to smaller ones like uh, Cyclomatus metallifer or, or the, even um, Polacornatus mulleri. But if you have this species, you must know that they must eat a lot of material to be so, become so big. So and that's time now to put the larva back to the substrate here, I make a little hole, I take this monster and put it here so it can dig down and be safe and nice and grow hopefully to a very big Torcus Titanus from Polavon inside of this uh, uh, box. So we, what we need is a cover for it, here it is with some holes and that's it the larva will 
stick down now you can see then from outside what happens inside of the uh, material of the substrate how she lives a big one only six weeks ago when she was an L2 now she's 25 grams also and a big L3 that's it for the moment if you want you can as always change to the German uh, channel and see the other things that I want to do with Dorcus Titanus today thank you for watching